So Evolution XOS has been updated to the latest version already from some time now Android 16 QPR01 but with some of the other new updates which we are getting with this new custom room with this custom room actually a lot of features have been added from the last update many things have been improved because this is based on QPR1 so the features the things you are getting in this case is a new thing in case you are not aware of Android 16 QPR1 is basically a material expressive UI with this new wallpaper and style UI, new status bar icons and so on. That is already a part of the latest Evolution XOS custom room. Some of the things which you will find with this new update or changes or additions. Lock screen clock styles are included which is good. You can use these lock screen clock styles. Default clock uh, can be customizable. You can customize the style with etc. All the other things kind of same. With the latest QPR1 update, we have themed icons options there. And by the way, QPR2 stable is coming very, very soon. So you will see icon shape customizations there too. Another thing is if you move on to settings UI, you will see material expressive icons or kind of things same. But you will see this evolver setting. So yes, finally, customization features are coming back to QPR1. A lot of features are there, themes, lock screen, status bar, quick settings and so on. If you move on to themes, customization themes option, you will see some options related to lock, unlock sounds, some features which are already available with the previous Android 16 based rooms and so on. In font section, we do not have other fonts options available, but we have custom fonts option there. So as far as I know, if you have .ttf or .ota file available, you can simply choose that and you can use that custom font on your device. Navigation bar icons are already there and one of them is Evolution XOS. So you can use the default navigation bar icon if you want to. Boot animation customizations are also back. If you need boot animation customizations, if you want to use them, you can. Resurrection Remix is one of my favorite. We already have a lot of other boot animations available too. Cyanogen mode is also quite amazing. All these options, all these boot animations you can apply on your device also. Lock screen does not have extra tweaks available. Things are kind of same in this case. Media cover, art, pulse, visualizer and so on. Already have the lock screen charging time option present. Status bar, some icons which you can enable or disable. Now with this new update, ongoing progress chip is back. So this might be very useful for some of you and including all these other tweaks too. Like you can adjust the horizontal offset or vertical offset. You can also customize the chip size and so on. Other kind of things are same in status bar customizations. You will see some extra tweaks in quick settings panel now. Kind of things similar but if you see quick setting header images, we have a lot of header images available. With this new update which is based on Android 16 QPR1, some of these header images look quite cool. It's not a big deal if you are into customization it's okay but if you are not into customization you can simply ignore this thing. A lot of things are already available with the latest Android 16 QPR1 as you already know the new status bar icons, quick settings panel has more improvement, blur added and many many more things already available. Notification section have some options for squiggle animation, heads up notifications also have the option to enable or disable the edge lighting feature if you want to enable that or not. Power menu actions available there which is kind of similar as compared to previous update as far as I know. Advanced power menu options are already available from some time. If you move on to miscellaneous options, you will see some options like no storage restrict, hide developer status, hiding the app list option, hide screen capture status, application downgrade, we have the option for ignore windows secure flags and so on. And everything else is just kind of similar like component spoofing that brings you play integrity fix and so on. Remember one thing that if you're not able to pass strong integrity and so on, it is quite common that sometimes Google ban those things, but there are a lot of workarounds already available. We have the key box option available, so you can import that key box and done. The latest update of Evolution XOS uh, with this new update already has a support for app log also available. So you can use that, you can hide the apps in case you want to. Sidebar customizations are also back. So with this new update, a lot of features, a lot of customizations are here. If you want to check it out, as I just told you right now, it's officially available for only few of the devices based on Android 16 QPR1. Maybe for other devices, it's available too. You can go and check this out any unofficial versions if it is available. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. I'll see you in the next one.